Hello friends, it's Joseph Sese here again with another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can basically do derivatives on the Bybit exchange. Derivative trading is also called futures trading. So derivative basically is when you buy or sell a futures contract, alright, for the purpose of speculation. And you can basically also say derivative trading is a kind of what trading where you use leverage. Leverage is the use of borrowed funds to increase your trading position. You can basically have just $5 and you can trade up to what, $250 and more. So I'm going to show you in this particular video and I'm going to explain about charting and every other technical tools on the Bybit exchange. So the first thing you basically need to do is you come to the bottom here, you see derivatives, you tab in derivatives. When you basically tab this derivative icon is going to take you to like this particular page you are going to have like two stuff here you have chart and you have trades so we are first going to go to chat all right i'm going to explain everything about the chatting process but when you arrive here when you select the first thing you basically need to do is what to transfer funds okay you are going to transfer funds into your derivative account so you are just going to come here all right and you see this little plus icon with this yellow where the arrow is pointing that is where you are going to tap to transfer fund from your funding wallet all right so you are seeing transfer so you tap in what transfer all right so when you basically like deposit money on your bybit exchange what is going to basically happen is the money is going to be stored on your funding account so you need to transfer from your funding account to your unified trading account if you want to trade derivatives so i have about 143 so i'll just start i will select the coin which is usdt and i'll just tap max which means i want to transfer all and i'll just tap what confirm this is the first step which you are required to do so now as you can basically see here uh, our account balance have been increased right we basically have 143 on this our uh, current trading account after you have basically transferred funds into your derivative account, the next thing you want to do is to select the pair which you want to trade. All right, select the pair which you want to trade. There are basically different ones, as you can see here. This is BTC USDT. So BTC basically stands for Bitcoin, and USDT is what Tether. All right, it's a stable coin. One USDT is equivalent to one US dollar. So you basically tab here, when you just tab, you are going to see what different, different pairs, okay? So a pair is a combination of two crypto assets combined together. So you can basically see different, different pairs. You can also use the chart icon. Let's say you want to chart for any other assets. You can see Solana, right? You can basically go ahead and select one. So for this particular tutorial, I'm going to and select btc all right so what does this basically means when you see this particular two btc and you see usdt at the top here again where you're saying this arrow you see btc btc is what the base crypto okay is the crypto which we are going to buy and usdt is the called the quote crypto this is the crypto which we are going to use to buy the base crypto so we are going to use usdt to buy bitcoin this is basically what the meaning of that so now when you basically arrive here you have selected what the pi you want to trade the next thing you want to do is basically you go to this particular section that you are seeing here that is called chat okay you just tap here all right just tap chat and it's going to take you to this particular page so I'm going to explain one after the other. You need to understand this very well. This is basically where you tend to do what all your analysis before you enter into your trade. All right, whether you want to long or you want to short. I'm going to explain about that shortly. So when you basically arrive here, you are basically seeing different price. Okay, you are seeing different stuff. This one you are seeing here, 47,218 is the current market price of Bitcoin. So if you want to buy one Bitcoin, basically you need 47,218.90 cents for you to buy one Bitcoin. So this is the current price of Bitcoin. And after that, you are going to come here. You are going to see what different 
um, figures here at the top here where the arrow is pointing we have 24 hour high this is the highest worth price which bitcoin or this particular asset have gone through for this case bitcoin so the highest between 24 hour range bitcoin was 48,230 all right dollar and 24 hour low is the lowest price which bitcoin took up to within the 24 hour range this is 46,603 all right and this is the 24 hour turnover this is the amount of what trading volume okay the amount of bitcoin that have been traded this is 6.85 billion yeah that's a lot of amount so this is basically it at the top here the next thing you basically want to understand is what time frames you are seeing different times here okay these are what's called time frames we have 15 m which is 15 minutes we have one age one hour four age four hour one day and one m which is one minute you can basically just have this one minute if you want to basically like customize you just come here you can select whatever time frame you want to select okay let's say you want to select what five minutes you can basically like let's say we want to unselect this 15 and we select five you tab confirm okay you basically what go ahead and tab what confirm so now what this basically means is now for all right so now let's say we have selected what five okay this five and basically means every single candle each candle you are seeing here represents five minutes the way what the price how bitcoin is performing okay this is the what the trend which bitcoin is going right currently so each candle here represents what five minutes if you currently press the five minutes hope you guys are understanding so let's say we want to press this what one edge this is one hour if you press one edge this basically means each candle you are seeing here be it red or be it green represent one hour the performance of bitcoin in that particular hour so for h also is just the same all right is what each candle here represents what four hour all right the performance of bitcoin every four hour one day is what each candle here represents one day to be formed so you can select up to what one week one month and so on and so forth so this is basically so let's keep it to what five minutes for this tutorial all right so when you are done with that the next thing you basically want to do is like we are going to talk about what our technical tools so you just come here you see where you are seeing this arrow pointing all right so you just look here for like a pencil you tab here so you are going to see what different tools here all right there are different tools here. this is basically what we are you tend to what use to analyze all right your trade before you enter so now let's say you want to use this this is called a trend line okay a trend line so you can basically try to draw what a trend line to know the current direction of the market okay so if you don't know what a trend line is i have a complete tutorial just check my technical analysis um, playlist for you to understand so you can basically say this is basically what an uptrend so for a trend line to be valid basically you say we must connect two tops or two bottoms all right so you can basically go watch that i don't want this video to be long so this is what we call a trend line so if you want to delete you just touch the trend line again and you tap what delete and if you want to change the color you can basically change the color like this and the width also you can make it like very bold as you can see so this is basically how you tend to customize if you want to delete just press delete we also have what this what arrow all right this arrow you just like where you want to draw what your arrow and you can basically what customize it as well as you basically can see these are all technical tools we have what horizontal line if you want to basically draw what your maybe support and what resistance okay you can basically go ahead and just like go ahead like this you can see you can draw what your support and resistance so if you want to delete just touch it and you what delete so these are all what technical tools and you have here what we call the brush in case you want to like what basically go ahead and delete this one is called the brush all right so you just have in here and they are going to ask you are you sure you want to erase all drawing from chat you just have in confirm and all drawing will be erased the next thing you guys should focus on basically here uh, is what this other icon here okay this other icon where the arrow is currently pointing so if you tap that it's going to show you like a whole lot of what tools all right a whole lot of what tools so we have like drawings we have indicators all right indicators basically are what this applies action tools all right they are all under part of what technical analysis 
we have basically three types of analysis technical analysis fundamental analysis and what sentiment analysis technical analysis is basically when you are using like tools like support and resistance candlestick formation so i have talked about all of them the link will be in the description section so you can basically select this one you can basically customize this one if you want to see the last trader price you can select this and all so this is like countdown the countdown basically is going to show you the time that is remaining for a particular candle to be formed for example now let's look here if i just show you here when you select countdown you are basically going to see this particular area all right this particular area you are seeing 0 0.00549 so we are currently using so it remains what 45 seconds for this candle to be formed all right so let's go back to this area you can basically select and you customize this particular area we have what we call indicators all right if you tap indicators also these are also what technical tools which you can basically use to trade we have moving average and oliga band parabolic sar macd rsi relative strength index and stochastic rsi and a whole lot more all right so for this one let's come back here you are seeing at the bottom here all right let me just show you guys um you are seeing at the bottom here right where the arrow is basically pointing these are our indicators all right so now let's say we want to use moving average so this is basically moving average is a technical indicator so i'm going to make an upcoming video about what all these particular indicators all right because you need to have clear understanding so most of the time the one i basically use is what the macd this is the moving average all right and Covided divergence. So this is what mark the this lines you are seeing here. All right So you can basically use this one to basically like enter trade when this blue line This blue line is called a mark the line and the yellow line is basically called the signal line Whenever this blue line is above. Okay, whenever the blue line is above you want to go for long trade Which means you are predicting the price is going to go up and as you can see currently the price is what going up Whenever this yellow line all right is above okay it means the price is going to go down as you can see the yellow line was here so this area where this what yellow line cross over this blue line it is called what the crossover but i will do a complete tutorial on that so this is basically where you tend to what select what your indicators okay if you want to unselect this you can unselect this you select another one this is what we call the rsi relative strength index this is the kg a kdg and all so this is where you select down here is what we call the order book okay the order book these are currently the trades that are ongoing these are the quantity all right people that are going to buying bitcoin when you are seeing green this is the buy price these are the people that are buying bitcoin and when you come to the right uh, right side is with the red writings are basically the ones that are selling bitcoin currently okay so this is called the order book all right guys so this is basically it for this particular chart section so you come here first make sure you analyze this well before ever you try to enter a trade now the next thing you basically want to do is you are going to come to trade okay you are now going to come after doing all your technical you come here just press here all right so you come to what trade now we have understood everything about what the chart section right so when you come to basically trades what you first you know you have already selected your peer you are going to come to select what your margin okay you are going to select what your margin there are basically different forms of margin but for beginners it is always advisable to keep focus on what isolated and coarse margin all right so this is basically where you just tab in you are going to see what isolated margin all right isolated margin all right this is basically a form of like what leverage a money that is going to be bought to you let's say you have five dollar and you want to enter a trade all right they are going to issue out a money to you they are going to borrow you you make profit with the leverage and after which at the end of the day you return back their money and you collect what your profit so we have isolated margin as you can see here they are telling you regular user so it is good for beginner and cost margin also is good for beginner i will explain between the difference between isolated and cost and we also have portfolio margin these are for what professional so you are going to forget about them okay so let's say you want to use isolated margin you just start in what isolated so you are seeing here from the top now we have isolated margin okay isolated margin so 
the next thing you want to do is you want to select what your leverage the amount of what money you want to borrow so you can see here where you are seeing the arrow pointing you are just tabbing here so for bitcoin different what assets have different amount of leverage let's say you are going to use ten dollar okay so ten dollar and you are taking what 10 you can just select whatever you want to basically select so when you select a very high leverage it's at very it's very risky so let's say we want to just select 10x leverage you tap you are going to tap in save okay you are going to tap save so this is basically let's say we want to use 10 dollar okay you only have 10 dollar in your account now my average balance is what 143 usdt now i only have i want to use 10 dollar so you are going to multiply what your margin that is the money which you are putting for this particular trade times what and the amount of leverage you are going to basically use okay so this is going to be what 10 times 10 because i'm going to use so you are going to put what 100 all right 10 times 10 is going to be 100 so you basically so you just basically put what 100 why are you putting 100 your money is going to be what 10 dollar and you are taking a leverage of 10 so you multiply what the, the money you are putting is called margin your margin times what the leverage all right is the amount you are going to put here but before ever you enter the trade you also need to understand some few things here there are different types of what order all right where you are seeing this arrow pointing if you tab in here you have tab in here we have market order limit order conditional chase limit and all so i'm going to basically keep my focus on two things for beginners all right because this video is for beginners i'm going to explain about market order and that of what limit order so you come here you select what market all right market order basically means you want to enter the trade this current moment all right you want to enter the trade at this particular moment you don't want to wait for a particular time now let's say the price of bitcoin currently is you are seeing here is what 47 all right thousand one hundred and sixty five so you want to enter at this current moment this is what we mean by what market order so you are telling what the extent that they should enter what you in this trade immediately so now let's say we have done our technical analysis all right and we basically say now you are seeing the prices like dropping right so let's say we want to basically enter for long in this particular trade so we are only using ten dollars so if you basically watch here this is just the money you are using all right this is like what just summary of what you are using you are going to pay 9.53 all right dollar for this particular trade and the seven one the remaining ones is basically the fee which you pay all right to buy bits all right for you to for them to place your trade so the next thing you are doing here is you are you have what we call tp and sl so you are seeing here tp and sl tp basically means take profit and sl basically means top loss if you tab in here it depends on what you want to do long and short okay when you say long basically you are saying the price is going to go up the price of bitcoin is going to go up when you say short you are saying the price is going to what drop down so for this trade we are going to go long so we are going to tab in long so how you can basically you are now putting what ten dollar and let's say you want to make what twenty dollar okay you can basically enter in terms of usdt or you enter in terms of the price so when you enter twenty dollar as soon as bitcoin increase all right to fifty seven thousand one hundred forty nine point ten year then you are going to what make twenty dollar out of your ten dollar all right including with what the leverage so now you are now going to set your stop loss when it comes to the stop loss for you to set your stop loss you are only going to set your stop loss with your own money not the money you borrowed so your money is like what ten dollar out of the ten dollar how much do you want to lose let's say you want to lose what five dollar okay so if bitcoin drops down to forty four thousand six hundred and sixty nine point ten usd then you are going to what lose five dollar and they are going to get you out after you have entered what they are take profit tp or you can also say target and also this is your sl stop loss you press confirm now you are basically set now you are ready to go enter the trade what you are going to basically do is what you press buy all right as soon as you press buy then you are now in the trade so now this is what we are now in the trade what are you guys basically seeing i'm going to explain now so firstly 
you need to know the type of margin you are using so you come here you are where the arrow is pointing you are basically seeing btc usd that is what the pair we are trading you are seeing isolated margin so we are using isolated and 10x 10x basically means our leverage okay the position side is 0 0.002 the amount of bitcoin we are trading this if the entry price is the price at which we enter we enter at 47,154.30 that is the price for us to make profit we are pre we predicted that what well, the price of bitcoin was going to go up right so now the market price is 47,162.50 which means we are correct so that's why you are seeing here 0 0.01 when you are seeing green 0 0.17 percent on realized profits on realized profit basically is the profit which you are currently making in your open trade a trade that is currently ongoing which you have not closed yet okay then you are seeing estimated liquidation price now you basically predicted that what bitcoin is going to go up but if your prediction is wrong as i mentioned basically this is all about what speculation now if bitcoin ever drops to 42647.70 all right if it ever drops to this estimated liquidation price they are going to what close your trade okay they are going to you are going to lose your money now when you are using isolated margin what is going to happen basically is now if you just tab you just tab in this trade this is just like what summary your position your entry price market price and your liquidation so now if you basically see yeah we have what the value are trading up towards 94.3 all right this is the value of our trading and assets currently as you can see from here 94.3 but we are trading with only what ten dollar so if you come here and you basically look at what this what margin margin is the money which we invested our money which we put into this particular trade so this is 9.46 why is it is not up to ten dollars because basically by bit is deducting fees all right so now what i was saying is whenever like the price when you say liquidation this liquidation you are basically seeing here this 42,000. You are saying the price of Bitcoin is going to go up. But if the price of Bitcoin did not go up, it drops, keep dropping. When it reaches this 42,674.70, you are going to lose what? Your money. You are going to lose your entire money. This $10. Okay? That is what? If you are using isolated. If you are using isolated margin. Okay? You are using isolated margin. You are only going to lose this money which you put into your trade all right so now you are basically saying we are making profits you might want to ask how do you calculate your profit for you to calculate your profit basically is use the amount of leverage which you use and the percentage up so we are using what 10x leverage so 10 times 0 0.05 is going to give you what 0 0.05 okay so your leverage times the percentage you have increased up this is basically how you calculate this so whenever you use isolated margin and let's say you are going long and the price drops to what um 42,674 this is your liquidation price which means you are going to lose what your margin the ten dollar which you will use to enter this trade that is when you are only using isolated so now if you basically want to basically close your trade you can just what go ahead and press close by here there are different options which you can use to close your trades you can basically say you want to close 10 percent of your trade 25 percent 50 percent or 75 percent or even 100 percent you can alt tab in confirm and close automatically if you want to close at a particular quantity you can just enter here the amount of bitcoin you want to close and you just tab in confirm so for this basically for this trade basically if i go back you can see that what our prediction was to our entry price is 47,154.30. Now Bitcoin is 47,192. So which means we are making profit. All right. We are making profit. If we just use our $10 without leverage, we are not going to make this amount of high profit, 0 0.08. Okay. So, and you just tab in close and we tab what? Close. So now we have what? Close this order. All right. This position is now closed. We don't have anything again. So now I'm going to come here again. And we are going to select what we are going to select and uh, cross margin so and uh, so i'm going to explain to you now the difference between cross margin you come here where you are seeing isolated tab here and you just swipe and you see what cross so now you are basically seeing we have cross margin 
so now let's say we also still want to enter the same trade we are going to enter with what um ten dollar using what um 10x leverage so we have entered everything let's set our stop loss let's say we want to make still twenty dollar and we want to lose five dollar all right still out of our ten dollar it have been confirmed now we have set up then we are going to press what let's say we are going to long again long basically means you are saying the price of bitcoin is going to go up okay so long basically means the price of bitcoin is going to go up so now you are seeing course now we are up um you are going to go up um we are up to currently 0 0.24 percent all right there is no estimated liquidation price here so i'll close this and i will show you guys again sometimes it happens like this by a by bid they don't give you the creation price so i'll just try again and i'll just press buy order okay now this like particular one is like very little that's why they are not showing you like liquidation price so let me just increase the amount guys i'll just increase the amount so i will just use like 600 usdt so for 600 usdt basically what you are seeing here is what i'm going to basically use what 57 all right 57 i'm going to pay like what 60 um, usdt of my account 60 times 10 that's why i'm writing 600 you are not going to write your money only make sure you write what you take what the margin times the leverage all right then you press what now all right so now you can see we are now in the ticket now let me explain you to you guys now we are basically seeing btc usdt cross 10x now you are seeing cross okay now what does this basically mean you are seeing the position size 0 0.014 the entry price is 47,200 now you are seeing we are down because we enter at 47,200 when bitcoin was 47,200 the price which we enter now the, the market price is what 47,197 what you are going to notice here is for course basically uh, for course now you see our liquidation is very far away okay our liquidation price now if bitcoin now let's say bitcoin was going to go up now we are saying if ever bitcoin reaches to the 37,244 what is going to happen you are not only going to lose what the margin which you include our margin here for this particular trade is what it's what 66 dollar all right so i put 66 dollar but i'm currently trading with what i'm trading with 660 dollar all right i'm trading with what 660 this is the value this is the amount of you um bitcoin you are trading currently so 0 0.01 for bitcoin basically you cannot get it with what 66 dollar it's going to be what 660 dollar so now whenever this price this our liquidation price all right reaches our liquidation price what is going to happen we are not only going to lose our what margin okay we are not only going to lose our margin but we are going to lose our entire account including this money at the top here including our remaining money all right this money you are also seeing here this money you are seeing here we are going to lose both this what 66 dollar plus this our 76 dollar remaining we are losing everything if ever bitcoin price reaches what at 7243 we are going to lose everything so for beginners it is always advisable for you to use what isolated margin so when you use isolated you are only going to lose your margin your account is not going to be affected at all the remaining money in your account is going to be safe you are only going to lose what the money which you enter this particular trade like in my case the 66 dollar is what i'm going to lose if bitcoin drops to what 37 dollar that's seven thousand two hundred and forty three dollars sorry so i'm just going to what if i'm using isolated all right but now i'm using course which means i'm going to lose my entire account this morning both the margin and that of what the 76 you are seeing at the top here available i will lose everything if bitcoin ever reaches to this particular one so you are seeing guys i'm going to down 0 0.40 cents okay so that's basically what you need to know all right so i'm going to come back up here and i'm going to like what explain to you the other type of order that we do have we basically have an, another type of order called limit order so this is what uh you come here you tab limit let's say we are we still want to use what um let's select another coin cpr now let's say we want to select s solana okay so s o l means solana 
all right so now the current price of solana is what 107 107 so you are seeing here this is the current price so this red figures you are seeing are the people coins they were selling uh, solana the ones with the green at the bottom is what the ones that are buying solana so this is 107 now let's say i will uh, this is now you are going to come here you select what limit and this is what other price the other price is basically i'm going to say 90 okay the price at which you want to what buy solana all right so i will say 90 now the price of solana is what 107 i'm saying if ever the price of solana go to what 90 dollar i want to buy solana so let's say i want to buy what 50 dollar okay 50 usdt all right so what you are basically going to do now you are going to what if you come here solana have different leverage so for bitcoin you see we have over what 100 100 x leverage but for solana you have what 50 of 75x leverage so let's say i just want to select what um um 50 okay let's say 51 okay but this is very high don't select very high leverage so now what basically is going to happen is now 51 multiply times my money all right so let's say i want to enter 5000 let's say i want to enter 5000 with 5000 dollars now you are saying so what is going to happen is i only need to provide 103 dollar okay only getting three dollar for my account then i'm going to enter into this trade i'm going to trade up to five thousand because i use what 51 x leverage all right then after which you can basically set your tp and sl and let's say you want to go for buy okay so they are saying insufficient balance right because i don't have enough balance so what is going to happen now is let me just select something random let's say i want to select um let me try to use one thousand okay so now i want to get one thousand dollar okay one thousand dollar so which basically means i only need to what provide just twenty dollar okay just twenty dollars you are seeing here twenty dollar and i'll just press what all right so the other have been submitted now when you come to position you are not going to see this one you are going to come to this particular order because this is what a limit order the price is not going to be triggered because the price currently is 107 dollar for solana the other price is what 90 so if solana ever drops to what 90 dollar we are going to enter this particular trade we are going to enter this particular trade and we are saying long so we are saying that when the price of solana drops to 90 dollar we want to enter the trade because we believe like what the price is going to increase okay so this is basically what it means you can just come here you cancel whatever now you see we don't have any order again so this our trade is still ongoing and we are currently down minus 20 all right 0 0.20 cents all right so this is basically it's hope you guys understood about liquidation liquidation basically is you you are predicting like let's say now you are going long for btc we are saying this is long if the price keep dropping 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 and it dropped to 37,243 and we are using course we are going to lose our margin and also our remaining or in the total amount in our account our total account is going to be wiped out okay our total account is going to be what wiped out but if you are using isolated you are only going to lose the money your margin so if you put ten dollar you are only going to lose what your ten dollar that's what basically we mean so now we are trying to be in profit you see bitcoin we entered at 47,200 now it's 47,201 so now we are in profit so you always need to look at what your entry price and the market price for you to determine whether you are making profit or you are not making profit so you might have been seeing guys you are so you just you have been seeing this btc usdt so this is roi the roi is what the return on investment so you can just save this if you want to save and yeah you might be seeing guys sharing this out in their telegram communities and all you can basically join our telegram community using the link in the description section as well and i do normally share signals so this is btc usdt and this is the um, this long 10x it's long basically means you are predicting the price is going to go up 10x you are seeing here is the leverage and this is the roi the return of investment this was our entry price and this is the current price so if you want to save you just haven't saved now it's saved you can go to your gallery and just look at it all right guys so this is basically it for this particular derivatives trading the next thing i want to share with you before we end this particular tutorial is 
you can basically come to this top here all right when you come to this top you can basically tab it you are going to see calculator before you enter it again let's say probably you want to calculate the amount of profit you are going to make all right so now you are going to come you just decide first whether you want to long or short don't forget when we say long you basically you are saying that what well, the price is going to increase okay if you say short you are saying the price is going to decrease for that particular asset so let's say we want to go long now this is one to 75 x why are they showing us because we are using what solana all right so you can basically select your leverage here. you have not entered the trade yet you are just planning to see how much profit you are going to make whether this trade is going to be profitable for you or not so let's say we want to use 50x okay then you enter how many solana do you want to do? let's say basically you want to use like what 10 solana you press okay your entry price let's say you want to enter when solana reaches 100 dollar all right your close price let's say you want to take your puff and uh, when solana reach 120 all right so you come here you enter all this the list is the leverage which you want to use the amount of solana you want to trade all right if it's bitcoin you enter bitcoin if it's ethereum or whatever assets you are using then you tell what calculate so now this is going to show you you say this is basically what the maximum leverage is 75 so the initial margin so you need to what put in what 20 usdt okay we are going to put what 20 usdt so with your 20 usdt if you enter when solana is what 100 dollar okay and it's moved to 120 basically you are going to make what 200 usdt all right and your this is the p and l is basically your profit and loss this is what 20 percent and the roi is going to be what 1000 percent which means with your 20 dollar okay with just your 20 dollar you are going to make what 200 dollar why because you are using a very high leverage okay so this is going to be what 20 times what 50 which is the amount which we are going to what enter into this particular trade okay so the calculation is for reference only so you can just calculate and see then you can go ahead now and enter your trade i will just check in if the record is still on so like you just like enter your trade all right you can basically go ahead and what enter your trade so guys the next thing here is i want to share with you guys like everything okay i want to share with you guys like everything this is like the funding rate so the funding rate is basically it changes like what every eight hours okay we are what the ones that are going long are going to pay the ones that are shorting all right so guys this is basically it for the by bit derivative trade i hope you have understood the concept so as you can see now we are currently what in profit okay we are currently in profit we predicted that what the price of bitcoin was going to go up right we use cost so be careful when you are going to use what margin please i will advise you use what isolated you just come to the top here you press here and you will select this so if you are going to lose you are going to only lose the money all right which you are what you will enter not like your entire amount please instead because if you basically like lose let's say you come here to asset which means all this your total amount account if you reach like your liquidation price you are using course this entire account is going to be blown this entire 146 you are seeing everything is going to go even if you use what or under a ten dollar let's say you have hundred dollar and you only use ten dollar which basically means both your ten dollar and plus the ninety dollar everything is going to be wiped out if you are using course but if you are using isolated basically you are only your ten dollar is going to be wiped out and your ninety dollar is still going to be safe all right your ninety dollar is still going to be safe now let's say you have made profits all right in your trading you have traded and you have made like what lot of profit you want to like what you the money is going to be in your unified account so you are just going to tap what unified and you press what transfer okay you just tap transfer select the coin which you want to transfer okay so you can just select what usdt and you tap what you transfer maximum or you select the amount you want to transfer and press confirm then you can basically go to what p2p and send it to and just sell it out okay if you have not watched my video about the how to buy crypto and sell crypto on p2p after you have traded all these videos are available kindly check my bybit playlist and i'll be happy if you do subscribe to the channel like this video and share this video to others if this video was really really beneficial so guys this is basically it for the bybit 
tutorial and the features tutorial features if is basically called derivative please don't forget they don't confuse this okay the features is also called derivative if you go to binance they are it is called features if you come to buy it is called derivatives okay so they are just worth the same all right guys thanks so much i am joseph to say again it was a pleasure doing this tutorial